If you want to be really up in the clouds, it's a fairly easy matter nowadays, go gliding. It's cheap enough for almost everybody, and once you've tried it, you're very unlikely to give it up. First, join a club. Assuming, that is, you can't afford to buy your own glider. And even if you could, you'd still have to get someone to teach you to fly it. There are clubs in the fullest sense of the word, these gliding clubs, with everybody lending a hand in the work that's necessary before the planes can be airborne. Your true enthusiast, and that description applies to every member of the club, can hardly wait till it's his turn to go up. At Lasham, Hampshire, a typical club, gliders are towed along to get them into the air. It's flat here. You can't always have gliding clubs where there's a convenient hillside for launching. There she goes, and very soon the pilot will be soaring up and away with nothing but the birds and other club members to keep him company. The towing on this field is done by a lorry hired by the club. The gliders take off into the wind. The breeze gets under the aircraft's large wings and the rest is up to the pilot. To start with, a pilot is quite happy with the thrill of just flying, just keeping up in the air, proud of his skill in using the currents to keep him gliding along. But soon he's looping the loop and performing all the other circus tricks of the practiced glider with all the confidence in the world. It's all done without engine or any other motive power, the nearest thing to the flight of birds that men and women can achieve. And what a feeling it is, alone in the air, with not a sound except the wind going past the wings and struts of the plane. Just you, and nature, and your thoughts. What a tonic in this age of rush crowds and tearing about. In any weekend, Monday morning is always getting nearer. So you have to come down to earth after being king or queen of all you surveyed sailing in the sky.